we use a laser to trace out cross sections of Ötzi and under UV light the polymer starts to harden. Once it solidifies, for just a few seconds, a very thin layer is positioned on top of it. The laser hardens it out again and this way the model is built layer by layer. Get ready for what could potentially be the most remarkable archaeological discovery of the decade. But first, do you recall Otzi the Iceman, the astonishing 5300-year-old mummy excavated from the icy embrace of the Otztal Alps? The Iceman is a very specific mummy, a unique mummy. It's one of the oldest mummies we have at all. It's maybe the oldest mummy in the Alps. Now scientists have made a groundbreaking discovery as they have unraveled the DNA of Otzi the Iceman. And this discovery has led to a series of shocking finds. What spectacular findings of a bygone era have been discovered? How will this new discovery reframe our understanding of other mysterious fossils from ancient times? Join us as we unveil the jaw-dropping secret revealed by the DNA of Otzi the Iceman and explore its shocking implications. In 2008, scientists made a shocking discovery in the Denisova cave, located in the expansive Siberian wilderness. They found a seemingly ordinary finger bone that held extraordinary secrets from the ancient past. This unassuming fragment would prove to be a pivotal moment in human history. With great excitement and curiosity, researchers carefully extracted DNA from the finger bone, using a revolutionary tool called DNA sequencing to delve into the microscopic realm of genes. This advanced technology enabled them to decipher the genetic code within the bone and glimpse into a distant era. As the analysis progressed, the DNA unveiled a stunning revelation, the existence of an entirely unknown human lineage. This newfound group of ancient humans was named the Denisovans, after the cave that had sheltered their remains for countless millennia. The Denisovans not only differed from modern humans, but also had a remarkable connection to our distant relatives, the Neanderthals. Further examination of the Denisovan DNA revealed that these mysterious beings had coexisted with and interbred with Neanderthals. The genetic legacy of this ancient intermingling could be detected in the DNA of present-day humans, as traces of Denisovan ancestry were found in various populations worldwide. At this point, scientists were curious about a more fascinating application of this technology. And what better choice than applying this cutting-edge technology to one of the most extraordinary archaeological finds of the 20th century, Otzi the Iceman? And what they found shocked the world. Join us as we uncover the deeply buried secrets within this remarkable fossil, which has remained preserved for thousands of years. But before we dive into the fascinating details, let's first explore the shocking discovery of Otzi the Iceman in the Alps. In 1991, two brave hikers embarked on a regular September day exploration in the rugged Otztal Alps. Little did they know that their expedition would lead to a groundbreaking discovery reshaping our understanding of ancient times. As they traversed the challenging terrain, a strange sight caught their attention. A frozen figure nestled within the ice. Initially, they mistook it for a modern mountain climber who got stuck in the ice. As they carefully tried to free the frozen body from its icy cocoon, the hikers were starting to realize the immense importance of their discovery. With a deep sense of understanding, they wasted no time in contacting the authorities, eager to share their findings and contribute to a comprehensive investigation. News of the remarkable find quickly spread through the scientific community, and experts swiftly comprehended the profound implications it held. Upon closer examination, researchers figured out that this was no ordinary corpse. Its attire, tools and physical characteristics harkened back to a long-lost ancestor from thousands of years ago. In fact, this mummy stood as one of the most momentous artifacts ever unearthed, a perfectly preserved relic from over 5,000 years ago. Otzi, the name given to the mummy found in the Otztal Alps, turned out to be a remarkable key to unlocking the secrets of the Copper Age. This extraordinary discovery provided scientists with an unprecedented opportunity to delve into the past and gain valuable insights into the lives of our ancestors. It was a pivotal moment in the field of archaeology, 
as established beliefs about ancient civilizations were challenged and a multitude of intriguing questions arose. Who was Atsi? What did he look like? What stories did his life hold? How did he meet his untimely end? These were the enigmatic puzzles that captivated the minds of researchers. Though the answers remained elusive, the journey to unravel the mysteries had begun. The Iceman, as Atsi came to be known, quickly became the center of attention and sparked intense speculation. Initial investigations provided a startling revelation. Utsi belonged to a bygone era. As confirmed by radiocarbon dating, he stood as one of the oldest, naturally preserved human mummies ever discovered. Yet, the true essence of his identity remained shrouded in secrecy. Was he a shepherd tending to his flock amidst the towering peaks? Or did he meet his fate as a brave warrior on a tumultuous battlefield? Fragments of evidence tantalized the imagination, but they merely offered glimpses into his enigmatic life, leaving ample room for conjecture. The clothing and belongings adorning Utsi painted a vivid picture of a rugged mountain dweller, skilled in navigating treacherous terrain. Dressed in a grass robe and wearing hay-insulated footwear, he exuded a deep familiarity with the alpine environment. His collection of weapons, including a metal axe and a bow, testified to his hunting prowess and ability to defend himself. But since these artifacts couldn't reveal the full extent of his life story, stay tuned as we explore the fascinating details of his life. What role did Atsi play within his tribe of that time? As scientists delved deeper into the mystery surrounding Otzi's disappearance, they unearthed fascinating insights into his life and health. The examination of his remains revealed intriguing details that added to the mystery. The analysis of his teeth indicated a diet rich in grains, while the wear on his leg bones suggested he had embarked on numerous arduous journeys, possibly across rugged terrain. His body bore visible wounds, such as a severe cut on his hand, and the telltale signs of broken ribs. However, these physical remnants only served to deepen the mystery surrounding Otzi's identity. Despite the wounds, Otzi displayed evidence of healed injuries and a robust physique, hinting at a physically demanding existence. This sparked speculation about his occupation. Was he a formidable fighter or a seasoned hunter? Yet the presence of tools like a flint knife, a fire starting kit, and the highly esteemed copper axe, a symbol of high status in the Copper Age, suggested that Otzi held a position of social prominence. Otzi's mysterious persona captured people's imaginations, prompting contemplation about the intricacies of his life. His story offered a captivating glimpse into a bygone era, providing fragmented insights into the triumphs and tribulations of the Copper Age. Each new piece of information that emerged was like a mosaic tile, contributing to the grand tapestry of ancient history. What mystery of Atsi was recently unraveled from his DNA? At the turn of the new century, a groundbreaking project commenced, allowing for a profound exploration of Atsi the Iceman's essence, the unraveling of his genetic code. This endeavor marked a significant leap forward in the field of paleopathology, which focuses on studying ancient DNA. Initially, Sequencing old genetic material was a daunting task, fraught with risks of contamination and degradation. However, the story began with the careful extraction of DNA fragments from Atsi's ancient remains. Despite being frozen for thousands of years, Atsi's genetic material remained remarkably intact, albeit fragmented and delicate. The icy Alps, acting as an icy tomb, played a crucial role in his extraordinary preservation. Nonetheless, Scientists proceeded with caution, fully aware that any current DNA contamination could jeopardize their quest. Researchers embarked on the arduous task of reconstructing Atsi's genetic code, leveraging the cutting-edge power of new sequencing technologies. It was akin to solving a complex puzzle, meticulously piecing together broken sequences like a challenging jigsaw. The advent of improved sequencing methods revolutionized the field, enabling the decoding of whole genomes rather than just fragments of genetic material. This comprehensive approach provided scientists with a broader understanding of Atsi's genetic makeup. The study of Atsi's genetic material ushered in a new era in scientific history. It furnished researchers with valuable insights into the intricate ways in which humans have migrated and evolved over time. 
By comparing his genetic markers to those of modern groups, scientists transcended mere proof and began unraveling the patterns of ancient migration. Additionally, the study delved into genetic predispositions to diseases, food habits, and even physical traits. This interconnected different time periods and geographical locations, fostering a seamless narrative. Finally, in 2008, came the grand reveal a culmination of years of dedicated research and analysis. In that year, the publication of Otzi's complete mitochondrial DNA sequencing data marked the culmination of his genetic journey and heralded a momentous discovery. Mitochondrial DNA, which is exclusively passed down from mother to child, emerged as a powerful tool for tracing family trees and ancestry. It shed a bright light on the obscure paths of ancient human genetics. The most intriguing revelation from Utsi's DNA tapestry was an unexpected connection between him and modern-day individuals residing in Sardinia. This discovery reverberated through the scientific community like a sudden thunderclap, challenging prevailing beliefs and reshaping our understanding of population movements and settlements in Europe. Following this groundbreaking finding, an intriguing theory emerged. It suggested that the genetic landscape of Europe had undergone profound changes over millennia. It proposed that the people inhabiting Otzi's mountainous realm in the past could have shared a closer genetic affinity with those living in the Mediterranean, rather than with present-day inhabitants. This audacious theory, diverging from the accepted narrative of European ancestry, set in motion a web of investigations that illuminated the intricate dance of ancient human groups and the mosaic of their interactions. Utzi's genetic study also provided us with a profound glimpse into the tapestry of the Copper Age. It revealed how genetic diversity and the ebb and flow of human populations across ancient Europe were intricately intertwined. His genetic blueprint, akin to a time capsule from the past, furnished us with valuable insights into the health, social systems, and ways of life during his era. The discovery of Otzi's mitochondrial DNA sparked heated debates about the changing nature of diseases over time. By examining his genetic predispositions, researchers embarked on a journey through the annals of medicine, tracing the origins of various illnesses back thousands of years. This endeavor surpassed mere historical curiosity, yielding a deeper comprehension of evolutionary processes and the global spread of diseases. Otzi's DNA sequencing constituted a pivotal moment in the history of paleogenetics. It not only unveiled the genetic narrative of a single ancient individual, but also offered a panoramic view of European human groups' historical trajectory. The knowledge gleaned from these meticulous studies continues to advance our understanding of human history, migration patterns, and the intricate dance of evolution that has shaped our species' existence. How does Otzi's discovery pave a path for a new revolution in medicine? Otzi, being one of the most exceptionally preserved ice mummies, has always been a topic of great interest for curious scientists. In 2012, scientists embarked on an intriguing exploration of Utsi's health. Utilizing cutting-edge technologies and the remarkably preserved state of his remains, they launched a thorough investigation that unearthed astonishing revelations about his well-being. One of the most significant findings was the presence of Lyme disease in Otzi's body, marking the earliest known case of this infectious illness caused by the bacterium Borrelia burgdorferi and transmitted through the bite of an infected black-legged tick. The implications of this discovery were profound, shedding light on the historical prevalence of Lyme disease and its impact on human health. Otzi's encounter with Lyme disease serves as a poignant example of how this ailment has plagued humanity throughout history. Its wide array of symptoms includes fever, fatigue, headaches, muscle and joint pain, and swollen lymph nodes. If left untreated, this insidious infection can spread to the joints, heart, and nervous system. Moreover, Otzi's diagnosis of lactose intolerance and inability to process lactose, a sugar found in milk and dairy products, proved to be another significant revelation. This finding suggests that lactose intolerance was common among ancient populations, providing valuable insights into the dietary habits of Copper Age Europeans. The presence of signs indicating heart disease, particularly arteriosclerosis or the hardening of arteries, further enhanced Otzi's health profile. 
The discovery of this condition in an individual who lived over 5,000 years ago was surprising, as it is commonly associated with modern sedentary lifestyles and diets. Otzi's experience challenges the notion that such diseases are exclusive to contemporary times, underscoring the fact that our ancestors also grappled with similar health issues. These newfound details paint a vivid picture of a man whose health problems bear an uncanny resemblance to those experienced by people today, despite the vast temporal gap between their lives. Furthermore, they emphasize the importance of studying ancient remains like Utsi's as they provide valuable insights into the evolution of human health and disease over time. By delving into the health issues of our forebears, we can unravel the intricate web of human well-being and gain a deeper understanding of our collective journey. Now the question arises, does Otsi have descendants in the modern era? In 2012, as Otsi's health and genetics were unraveled, the study took a deeply personal turn in 2016, forging a poignant connection between ancient times and the present. A groundbreaking investigation unveiled the existence of living relatives of Otsi, direct descendants who now inhabit various corners of the globe in the 21st century. This remarkable revelation came to light through meticulous genetic analysis, with particular focus on Utsi's chromosome DNA, a hereditary trait passed down exclusively through the male bloodline. The research team embarked on an extensive genetic search in the Tyrol region, the very place where Otzi's remarkable discovery occurred. Their objective was to identify individuals who shared specific genetic markers with Otzi. These enduring markers served as indelible imprints spanning generations, forging a genetic bond between distant relatives. Astonishingly, the researchers discovered a cohort of 19 living men who possessed the same rare genetic mutation as Utsi. Though this genetic variation was minute, its significance lay in its ability to establish a common ancestor, illuminating a profound genetic continuum. Unbeknownst to them, these modern individuals were carrying the genetic legacy of Otsi, thus forging a connection with a prehistoric European figure of great renown, one who now became a subject of extensive study. This discovery reverberated across the world, offering a fresh perspective on the intricate migratory patterns and genetic heritage of the people who once inhabited the Alps. The observed genetic continuity suggested a surprising stability amidst the tumultuous currents of human migration in Europe. It encapsulated the essence of a genetic tapestry that has remained resilient for thousands of years. Moreover, the study contributed to our understanding of population genetics, elucidating the inheritance of specific genetic markers across generations and shedding light on the enigmatic patterns of past human migrations and settlements. It served as a poignant reminder of the complexity of our shared history, unveiling hidden treasures within our genetic past. How did the DNA sequencing lead to Otzi modern-day relatives? In 2016, a groundbreaking discovery shook the world as Otzi's living relatives were found. This momentous event fueled further research in 2019, specifically focusing on Otzi's clothing and tools. These artifacts provided fascinating and educational insights into his life and the environment he inhabited. By conducting DNA testing on the items buried with him, researchers made significant strides in unraveling the mysteries surrounding Otzi. The diverse array of objects found in Otzi's icy tomb, including clothing, weapons, and tools, offered valuable information about the fashion and technological prowess of the Copper Age. Through DNA analysis, researchers endeavored to determine the animal origins of these items. This endeavor shed light on the types of tools available to Otzi, his friends, and his family. The findings were nothing short of captivating. Utsi's tools and accessories were skillfully crafted by combining various animal resources, showcasing his remarkable proficiency in material manipulation. His coat and trousers were fashioned from the hides of domesticated animals like goats and cattle, while the soles of his shoes were cleverly crafted from bearskins. Even his quiver, designed to hold weapons, was constructed using deerskin. This amalgamation of materials underscored a profound understanding of the unique qualities of animal hides and their versatile applications. Moreover, the DNA study provided crucial insights into animal domestication and hunting practices during Otzi's era. The presence of both tamed and wild animal DNA, 
indicated that people relied on a combination of farming and hunting, illustrating the complexity of survival strategies during the Copper Age. The discovery of bear DNA was particularly intriguing, showcasing the resilience and resourcefulness of individuals who hunted formidable and dangerous creatures. The presence of various animal DNA in Otzi's belongings highlighted the region's biodiversity during his time. The alpine expanse teemed with a plethora of plant and animal species, suggesting the presence of a robust and diverse ecosystem capable of supporting a wide range of creatures. This newfound knowledge significantly enhanced our understanding of the environment and intricate ecological dynamics of the Copper Age world. Examining Otzi's belongings through the lens of DNA research not only illuminated his social and cultural life, but also underscored the extraordinary craftsmanship of his contemporaries. His clothing and gear showcased exceptional skill, emphasizing the multifaceted talents of the people inhabiting the region. Furthermore, the diverse origins of the materials used in Otzi's possessions hinted at complex trade networks or intergroup relationships shedding light on the dynamic nature of culture during his lifetime. The DNA testing of Otzi's belongings in 2019 brought forth a wealth of new information, revolutionizing our understanding of his life and the era he occupied. This groundbreaking study exemplified how genetic analysis extends beyond human DNA, providing a comprehensive snapshot of past cultures and their surroundings. By bridging the fields of archaeology and biology, this study offered a deeper and more nuanced comprehension of bygone eras. It serves as a remarkable testament to the power of interdisciplinary collaboration in illuminating the annals of history. What was Utsi's last meal, and what shocking truth does it tell about our ancestors? After the fascinating revelations regarding Otzi's attire and tools, researchers in 2022 turned their attention to another intimate aspect of his existence his dietary habits. This complex investigation was intended to uncover the culinary preferences of Atsi, shedding light on the available food options and nutritional landscape of his environment. Employing cutting-edge DNA and molecular techniques, scientists meticulously examined Atsi's stomach contents, offering a tantalizing glimpse into the Iceman's final meal. The results of this investigation unveiled a well-balanced combination of meat and grains in Atsi's last meal, indicating that his diet was perfectly adapted to mountain living. The centerpiece of this feast was the delectable meat of the alpine ibex, a wild goat species that thrived in the rugged mountainous terrain. This culinary choice not only showcased Utsi's prowess as a skilled hunter, but also underscored the significance of hunting within his community as a means of procuring protein-rich sustenance. The inclusion of ibex meat in Utsi's diet aligned harmoniously with the ecosystem of the Alpine region, where such animals were abundant. This finding underscored the delicate balance between human needs and the natural resources of the area. In addition to the flavorful Alpine ibex meat, Otzi's stomach contained remnants of fat, red deer, einkorn wheat, and trace amounts of toxic fern. These findings indicated that Otzi enjoyed a diverse array of foods. Einkorn wheat, believed to be one of the earliest cultivated wheat varieties, held great importance during the Copper Age and greatly influenced cooking practices. Its presence in Otzi's digestive system suggested a symbiotic relationship between farming and hunting within his community for sustenance. The state of these food remains, along with compositional analyses, offered a poignant glimpse into the cooking methods of Otzi's time. It appeared that the meat was either consumed freshly or preserved through techniques such as drying or smoking, vital methods for maintaining food freshness in the absence of modern refrigeration. The grains, likely consumed as early forms of bread, demonstrated a rudimentary understanding of culinary alchemy and food processing techniques, reflective of an era where adaptability and resourcefulness were paramount. The thorough investigation into Otzi's last meal in 2022 not only deepened our understanding of his personal narrative, but also shed light on the broader dietary practices of the Copper Age. The high altitude of the region presented a cornucopia of diverse and adaptable food sources that were ideally suited to the environmental conditions. The symbiotic relationship between hunting and farming showcased the community's multifaceted approach to survival leveraging a wide range of resources to secure sustenance. 
Furthermore, studying Otzi's eating habits provided insights into the prevailing standards of health and nutrition during his time. The variety of foods comprising his final meal indicated a profound understanding of the local environment and an ability to harness its offerings to achieve a balanced and nourishing diet. The study of Otzi's last meal established a tangible connection to the everyday lives of Copper Age inhabitants, offering glimpses into their resilience in the face of formidable environmental challenges and their adeptness in utilizing resources efficiently. This facet of studying Utsi's life provided a deeper comprehension of ancient ways of life, health beliefs, and dietary habits. It exemplified the complexity of the human experience throughout history. Scientists have made remarkable strides in their tools and methodologies, as evidenced by the discovery and analysis of Utsi's DNA. Each step in the process of studying ancient genetics holds significance, from the extraction of genetic material to its meticulous analysis and interpretation. The journey to unravel the enigmatic riddles of the Iceman continues to the present day, as ongoing studies shed new light on different facets of his life, the era he inhabited, and the broader tapestry of human history. Thanks for watching. While you're still here, click on the other videos you see on your screen right now.